G'day, welcome to Partaker's Friday Prayers on Friday the 26th of August 2011. Come, let's pray to our God together. O gracious and holy Father, give us wisdom to perceive you, diligence to seek you, patience to wait for you, eyes to behold you, a heart to meditate upon you, and a life to proclaim you. Through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We are told that it's a great and a good thing to praise our God. So let's now have a psalm of praise. We have Psalm 30 today, and it is read by the Reverend Adam Skirton. Go for it, Adam. I will exalt you, O Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths, and did not let my enemies gloat over me. O Lord my God, I called to you for help, and you healed me. O Lord, you brought me up from the grave. You spared me from going down into the pit. Sing to the Lord, you saints of his. Praise his holy name. Hear, O Lord, and be merciful to me. O Lord, be my help. You turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy, that my heart may sing to you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ has risen. The Spirit has come. Praise you, God. Amen. Now there'll be a short time of prayer where you can give to God things that are on your own mind and heart. And if, for some reason, words are failing you, then pray this short prayer based on Psalm 40. O oh God, help and deliver me from this pit, for I am poor and needy. Let's continue praying. Father, we pray that your love will take over our lives. We also pray that we would follow you faithfully, live lives obedient to you, and give praise to you alone in all circumstances we face. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. We now pray for church services around the world this weekend. Our Father God, we lift before you all those who are preaching, leading, serving and participating in church services around the world this weekend, both up front and in the congregation. We ask that the Holy Spirit would guide their minds and that the worship would be in spirit and in truth and that your word is faithfully preached. For those in countries where to meet other Christians is illegal or not condoned by the government, we ask that you continue to strengthen, guide, uplift and grow them. Let them know through your spirit, the spirit that lives within all believers, that we are praying for them. Amen. We come now to praying for those who are suffering due to medical conditions. Firstly, Father, I lift to you my good friend Denise, who after many months of illness and medical staff not knowing what to treat, has now been diagnosed with osteomalacia. Help the medical staff to give accurate diagnosis 
an appropriate treatment for this will stifle the obvious frustrations for Denise. Let Denise know that you are with her and helping her and healing her. We also lift to you especially Carolyn, who recently suffered with a stroke and as a result has some paralysis. Please help the medical staff to treat her wisely, and we also ask for a touch from you so that there will be no ongoing problems after treatment. Please, O oh God, embrace her family in your arms of compassion. We now also lift to you especially Lynn, Zachary and Janet. Let them know of your presence and give them comfort and peace. O oh Lord God, give strength to the weak. Now, Father, we lift before you all those facing challenging situations, such as loneliness, confinement at home, geographical isolation, lack of employment, health issues, and financial pressures. O oh God, please meet their needs in whatever challenging situation is being faced, and we put ourselves in your hands to help meet those needs where we can. We come now to pray for this world. Father God, we lift this world to you, a world which is crying out for its redemption. Help those in positions of power to govern with justice, mercy and wisdom. And remind them, O oh God, that they are only in position of power because you allow them to be. Our Father, be the strength for all those who are grieving and mourning the loss of loved ones. O oh God, we pray that those in despair will be helped and where there is darkness, there will be light. May justice and peace come to places where injustice, strife and conflict currently dominate. Where there is chaos, Father, bring order. Where there is hatred, O oh God, may love be sown. We pray, O oh Lord, that in areas of need following natural disasters, that aid will get through and infrastructure rebuilt. Lord, in your great mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. And now as we close, here is a prayer based on Hebrews chapter 13, verses 20 to 21. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant, brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will, and may he work in us what is pleasing to him, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partaker's Friday Prayers. See you again real soon.